Sometimes sweet, sometimes creepy, forever parched. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we are counting down our picks for the top 10 thirstiest guys in anime. I think it's a sign. Come on, give me a big smooch and let's celebrate. <laughs> think you know anime? Click below to sign in with your Google or Facebook accounts and take the new quiz on WatchMojo.com for your chance to win a prize from Culturefly. For this list, we'll be looking at the males in anime whose lives seem to revolve around getting jiggy with the ladies. Whether they're bona fide chick magnets or hapless losers, as long as they're continually led by what's between their legs as opposed to common sense, they're contenders. I'm Todd Habercorn, and I've played characters who have had more nosebleeds than all the Rocky movies combined. You'd think I'd have a frequent shopper's card to a local blood bank, but you'd be wrong. Because it takes four to six weeks for delivery. Let's get ready to mojo! Hey, hey, hey! Wait a second! Pervy Sage! Look, kid, I told you already, it's Jiraiya. Number 10, Kentaro Oe, Golden Boy. A pervert as well. No, my queen, forgive me! Your queen? What are you talking about? There's something wholly endearing about this guy. Yeah, this guy. The same hopeless dude who had that one dirty fantasy on the toilet we were all forced to witness. Sure, he's got a libido so large it reaches the heavens, but he always, somehow, earns the affection of every love interest he meets on his endless journey to discover everything about anything. Only Kentaro could manage to inexplicably seduce a sexy office manager, swimming instructor, mob boss's daughter, and motorcycle fanatic, and still skip town before they had a chance to ride his golden boy. Vroom vroom. Oh, my God, he's alive! <laughs> Number nine, Miroku, Inuyasha series. Let's at least give him a chance. Maybe he can lend us a hand. Huh? <laughs> I was wrong. Kill him! Thanks to his talents for sealing away spirits and holding his own in a fight, Miroku managed to earn a place among the half-dog demon's inner circle. Good thing, too. Otherwise, he'd likely be left out on his ass for being such a pervert. Whether it's Sango or any number of filler girls, you can always count on the raunchy monk to get a little too grabby, especially around the posterior region. In spite of getting the bejesus smacked out of him every time he grasped a buttock, Moroku's bad habits managed to persist for pretty much the entirety of the show. Hong Kong! What exactly are you doing back there? Who, me? Why, not a thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. Number eight, Jiraiya. Naruto series. So lovely. We got a winner! A perfect end! This sage may have won us over thanks to the parental bond he built up with Naruto, as well as having one of the most gallant endings the show has ever seen. But let's not forget, when we first met this guy, he was partaking in sights brought to us by a women's bathhouse. Erotica is in this ninja's very bone marrow. Granted, he mostly pours all that perverted passion into writing smutty books, but you can bet your backside Jiraiya will take any and all opportunities to unsheath his katana. Hey, it's true! Jiraiya is no liar! <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, Issei Hyodo, High School DXD series. Is it possible for someone with this big of a harem to still not have clocked out his V-card? Dude, you have four supernatural babes literally throwing their cleavages in your face at once. How is it possible you haven't repopulated the nine circles of hell by now? This wouldn't be as shocking if Issei wasn't a raging ball of lewdness. He's made it perfectly clear he would love nothing more than to go all the way with a pretty girl. And yet, now that he's got a whole fleet of them at his beck and call, he suddenly whims out? Get your Boeing 737 and a half inches off the runway, dude! Number 6, Reita Toritsuka, The Disastrous Life of Psyche K. 
think your house is possessed by the lingering souls of the dead? Do yourself a favor and don't ask this guy for help. He may be a spirit medium, but the only kind of ghost busting he's interested in involves him using his personal proton pack on a sexy ghost gal. While the dead may be spared from his perversions, this unfortunately means the living have to suffer with it instead. Whether it's trying to trick the ladies into thinking he's a perfect man or getting his spirit buddies to steal their panties, Rada will do pretty much whatever it takes to be able to share his, um, ectoplasm with a female. No surprise that the living hate him as much as the departed. <laughs> Number five, K Kurono, Gantz. Teacher! Yes. Corona's got a hard on. <laughs> oh, 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 Man, you're such a hard on! The unbridled once of an adolescent know no bounds. Just take K as an example. He got run over by a train, brought back from the dead, and forced to hunt aliens to win a second shot at life. And yet all he thinks about is breaking beds. To be fair, when you're tasked with searching for otherworldly creatures who take great joy in devouring humans, everyone's entitled to a little release every now and then. But did you really need to bang a a complete stranger in the hallway within two minutes of meeting her? Hashtag unsanitary. I said get laid. That's what I need. And you said you'd help me, right? Uh, uh, oh, come on. Are you out of your mind? Number four, Brock. My name's Brock. Do you believe in love at first sight? Uh, stop it! Keep your hands in front of you and away from Queen Lucy! What the Rockmaster lacks in gratuity, he makes up for in sheer determination. Most guys would give up on their chances of love after the first ten rejections, but not the lord of the drying pan. Every nurse Joy, every officer Jenny, every female gym leader, every side girl he's proposed his undying love to them all. Sure, each ends in a disaster, but does he give up? Of course not. The keeper of the jelly-filled donuts will likely go on to flaunt himself to each new lady he meets until one eventually marries him out of pity. That suit's pretty uh, thick, Nurse Joy, but my heart's all right through it. You... you saw through my suit? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. It's only a figure of speech. My friends call me Brock. In fact, everybody calls me Brock, so I'd prefer if you call me your boyfriend. Number three, Minoru Mineta, My Hero Academia. UA High really doesn't give a crap when it comes to recruitment, do they? Want to be a superhero so you and your sticky purple balls can be popular with the ladies? Sure thing, come join our school. It's kind of shocking that Mineta is still in class 1A. His grades may be decent and he somehow survives the practical exams, but surely there are policies in place when it comes to a student repeatedly peeking on his female classmates. You just know when this guy goes pro, his personal bat signal is gonna be in the shape of a busty chest. Come on. Number two, Teddy. Persona 4, the animation. And just so you girls know, if you want me to share your room with you, that's cool. Not happening. Goes to show that even when dealing with an insidious serial killer, a mysterious TV world, and way too many social links to count, hormones still take priority. Oddly enough, this isn't so much the mindset of our teenage cast than it is their supernatural mascots, who from the get-go makes it very clear he wants to build a bear with the ladies of the group. I feel totally refreshed. See, I grew this body so I could try and score with Chie and Yukiko. Chie, Yukiko, Rize, as long as you're cute, Teddy will always be more than a little eager to get to fuzzy bumping. Sadly for him, the only one he managed to kiss was Kanji. My innocence is yours. Now pucker up! No, get back! I'm gonna kill you! Number one, Sanji, One Piece. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just get on already. With pleasure, Nami! <laughs> Moron! I didn't mean it like that! <laughs> Nami, that love tap was dynamic! Ask anyone what this straw hat pirate loves, and they'll undoubtedly say one of two things. Cooking and the ladies. While his tragic backstory, fancy footwork, and loyalty to Luffy have made this Iron Chef a compelling character all his own, there's little room for debate that Sanji's thirst runs deeper than the entire East Blue. 
It's kind of amazing that he can take the tired old trope of falling for every woman he comes across and transcend it to the point where we're all like, you know what? You'd be lucky to get with our boy. Wait, did we just say that? Look, <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.